Today at City Hall we held a summit about making the case for free school meals. This is part of a series of workshops the Labour Group at City Hall is holding around issues relating to cost of living. We were joined by experts from academics to people working for charities, trade unions and officers from councils who are already implementing the policy. Free school meals are proven to increase learning, reduce the scandal of child hunger, ease the cost of living crisis and remove a significant disincentive to work. Put simply, hungry children don't learn. It, uh, it's a no-brainer. And, and I think it's one of these things that we as adults can just think for a minute about and see the sense of it. If you're hungry, you can't do anything. So if you're hungry as an adult and you find it difficult, what do you think of four or five-year-old or six-year-old or seven-year-old who, for nothing to do with them, find themselves in school being asked to learn and they're hungry? I think 2013, in this country, one of the most modern, richest country in the world, we should not have any child in our schools being hungry. Because if they're hungry, they can't learn. If they're not learning, then they cannot fulfil their potential. End of. So it, it, it improves children's health, we know it improves their diet, but also it's that it makes a massive difference to family finances and for families who are feeling the pressure that I'm at, that hundreds of pounds a year difference it makes, it makes a big difference to them. Um, I think it is a great intervention in London at the moment. I think the fact that we have children who are presenting in school hungry means that actually we have to do something to tackle that. I think the research that has come out of Newham um, around the fact that actually it has an impact on education and attainment is something that we are struggling with in London and we're improving, but we also need to do better. So it's great for that. But the third reason that I think it's a really great intervention is because actually it addresses a barrier to work for parents. Um, London tends to have um, a higher parental unemployment rate than the rest of the UK. And this is a real kind of issue for parents in terms of taking on work. So you take on work and all of a sudden you have to pay for food for your children. And it means then parents are making choices about working so that they can kind of beat welfare reforms, but then their children are having to pay the price of that by not eating adequately. But the other reason I think it's absolutely crucial that now we seize this opportunity for universal preschool meals is that any kind of targeting, particularly at the moment, at the moment in tough austerity times, targeting is too tough. There are many, many people whose income, whose circumstances put them just outside the category of current free school meals. And that means parents are having to find a, an increasing amount of money in order to enable their children to eat at school. Or not, as the case may be. We know many stories like that. It's very cost efficient for parents, but also, you know, it's very cost efficient for councils and local authorities too, because the more meals you're cooking, uh, the cheaper each meal becomes. It, it becomes very cost efficient to provide a meal. And when uh, one or two boroughs club together, uh, there's even more efficiency of scale. So I think the evidence shows uh, it's good for everybody if we do this. And uh, the next gen generation will actually uh, I think will live with the health and educational benefits of having a good free school meal. They'll live with that benefit for the rest of their lives. I think that the mayor needs to play a role within the London context. I mean, we need to look at what local, local councils can do and some great local councils like Islington are, or have already implemented this policy very successfully and some more are going to follow suit. We need obviously to uh, ask what national government can do uh, and we need to pressure the, the education secretary to make this a priority. But I also think that um, the mayor needs to play his part. He said that he supports the uh, principle of universal free school meals uh, and I think that we need to uh, ask him to put his money where his mouth is. Since the summit took place, the government has announced that they will be introducing free school meals in infant schools from September next year. This is a welcome move in the right direction, but more needs to be done to make the case for free school meals in all primary schools in London. So 
we're going to be continuing to make the case for free school meals. And I'd like to hear from anybody who's got any experience of this either in terms of seeing how free school meals can transform the lives of children, improve results and help families, or from people who've seen how the opposite is true, that not having free school meals causes problems. So please do get in touch. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.